Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nicola. I'm a mum of two and I make videos about all things lifestyle. And today I thought I would do something I haven't done for quite a while, which is a favourites video. I've called it my summer favourites because we're well into August and summer unfortunately seems to be on its way out. It is miserable today, very grey and dull. And I think we've had pretty much our summer as it's going to be. So this is my summer favourites, things that I've been loving over the last few months. Some of them are, no, all of them are new. So things that I have found perhaps in the last few months that I thought I would share with you. Most of it, in fact, yeah, it's all sort of fashion and beauty. There's not a lot else. Um, although I will start with the one which is just behind me, which is this candle. Um, I have lit it so I will carefully bring it forward to show you. This is, I actually showed it in my last Home Bargains haul, I think, um, which I will link above. Um, and it is this Wickford & Co one from Home Bargains. It's the strawberry cheesecake. And it is, well, it smells just like strawberry cheesecake. It's gorgeous. It's just like biscuits. And um, yeah, really yummy. So I have lit that one today. And especially because it is so miserable outside. And it's feeling a bit autumnal, actually. That's, well, I'm, I'm pulling a face. I love autumn, so I'm not bothered about that at all. We can get all the autumn candles out. Um, anyway, right, enough about the weather. Right, I've got a few beauty bits that I wanted to share. Um, I am not an expert when it comes to makeup or beauty. In fact, I commented, um, Louise Pentland put um, a post on her Facebook, no, her Instagram the other day um, to say, I don't know, she'd made a, an effort with her face to go out and see a friend and um, what makeup or what things do people like to do um, with their makeup and I said I would just love to know what to do with my makeup because I never really, I've watched so many tutorials and um, things about how to do your face and just can't. I mean, I, yeah, I can do a basic makeup but that's about it. Anyway, I was finding that my makeup was um, not lasting um, and also whenever I wore white was getting all over my tops um, even if I was really careful so I went into Superdrug and I bought some of this which is the Maybelline Face Studio Setting Powder and it's brilliant really good it's a lovely loose powder I just use brush put it all over and although it doesn't stop makeup rubbing off onto my tops completely it certainly has made it better um, and it makes it stick to your face better I suppose and last longer and obviously it takes off shine um, so I, if I get shiny throughout the day I can use some of this and just put it on top and um, it makes me look like new again so I thoroughly recommend this I think it was about seven pounds for a small pot which I guess lasts a few weeks about a month maybe um, and yeah I thought it was really good so thoroughly recommend that and secondly um, I actually, I've been looking for this for a while in the right colour and I can't remember where I, I think I just saw it in Tesco and thought that it would be good. I've been trying to find, so I use, I think I've said in favourites before, I've, I use several concealers, different concealers on my face um, and have done and although I've been really happy with their, the way they last and the way they look, generally on this part of my face, under my eyes I find that they get very cakey because as you get older, unfortunately, the skin under your eyes becomes quite thin and crepey. And it's just a fact of life, unfortunately. If you've watched some of my other previous Home Bargains and Poundland hauls, you'll see I'm not entirely happy with the lines on my eyes and the way my eyes are. And it doesn't matter how much I moisturise or look after them, the skin is always going to get thin. Also, I had um, eczema as a child and as an adult, I've had eczema on, around my eyes. And steroid creams also make your skin go very thin. And even though I've been very careful, it will also you know, will have affected it. it, it can't not. So um, I found that any heavy concealers just go really crepey and very obvious under your eyes. So I found this, which is by, again by Maybelline, uh, and is the anti-wrinkle, anti instant anti-age um, eraser. And it is an under eye concealer and well it's, it's a multi-use concealer actually um, you can use it anywhere but I use it here and here just to take away the black rings from not a lot of sleep um, and 
just blend them with a beauty blender and I find that it's not cakey, it leaves a nice finish and you can't see it and that's the main issue with, I find with other concealers is that you can see it under your eyes. If you're a similar age to me, you might have the same problem, you may not yet, um, but yeah, it's great and I really like it. So I would recommend that if you have trouble with this bit under your eyes. Um, thoroughly recommend that. I use it in the fair, which is quite pale because I'm quite pale skinned. So that's that. Right, next up, I quite often talk about different shampoos and things. I bought the ginger ones from Poundland in my last Poundland haul. They were okay. So they smelt nice, but didn't really do the job. Um, and I use the LV quite a lot. And I like them, but I'm still yet to find something that I absolutely love until now. Um, and I thought I would spend a little bit more money when I was in Tesco. So I usually go for whatever is cheapest and then or I buy a sort of fairly cheap shampoo and then buy a more expensive conditioner because that's what I need to make my hair sort of feel nourished and um, healthy. But I found this and I thought I would go for something a little bit more expensive. These were on buy one get one free. So they are £7 each but I obviously got two for £7 which was a good deal. And they are the Monoi, I think that's how you pronounce it, coconut oil. I think the, the brand is Hask, is it going to focus? Hask, H-A-S-K, and it is this coconut oil um, shampoo and conditioner. And apart from anything, they smell divine. They smell like, um, I think it's Hawaiian Tropic um, sun cream. They smell like you are on holiday, and I guess that's the coconut part of it. But um, I used it in the shower for the first time, and I was like, wow, this smells incredible. Um, and the conditioner is really quite thick and nourishing and yeah, I really like it. Um, I've only used them maybe three or four times, but as I'm getting used to them, my hair feels, certainly feels stronger. It feels less straw-like, I suppose. My hair is very dry, so I tend to try and find as much, whatever I, wherever I can, some oily type shampoos um, and conditioners. So yeah, I really like these. Whether I would pay 14 pounds, I mean, I'm not saying that they're not worth that. I really like them, but I struggle, I don't know about you, spending a lot on myself um, for things like shampoo and things when you can buy them so much cheaper. But if they do the good job, do a good job, then it's probably worth the money. So yeah, I would recommend these. Bit pricey, but smell amazing and make your hair feel nice. Okay, so next up is a moisturiser. I have talked about the Lizzo Cleanse and Polish a few times. I think I've mentioned it in a previous favourites video. Um, and I absolutely love it. It, I don't think I'd ever use anything else for my face. Um, it's really, really good. I love it. It gets makeup off beautifully. And Andrew actually uses it for his skin as well, the men's version. Which, by the way, if you look at the ingredients, is no different to the ladies' version at all. It's exactly the same. Um, just different packaging. Interesting. Anyway, um, I thought there was an offer on in Boots when I bought my cleanse and polish that if you bought a certain amount or spent a certain amount, you got some freebies. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll try their moisturiser. I've always used Olay moisturiser before, a daily and the night cream. And I've always been happy-ish with it, but my skin, as I mentioned before, is dry. So I thought I would try something different. And I really like this. I've been using it for day and night. I don't think... I don't know, they may have a separate night cream, I didn't look. Um, but it is Liz Earl Skin Repair Moisturiser for dry and sensitive skin. And it looks like that one. And yeah, it's really good. I've been, oh, there we go. I've been really impressed with it. It leaves my, are you gonna focus on me? There we go. It leaves my skin feeling soft and moisturized and clean and yeah I like it it um, smells really nice it's uh, got borage I have no idea what that is and avocado oils echinacea and natural source of vitamin E so yeah I would thoroughly recommend that that isn't cheap it is I think 22 pounds for that little pot I've been using it quite sparingly um, day and night and so far I think I've had it about three weeks so it's not too bad if you're thinking you know how much you would spend a month on your skincare then that with the cleanse and polish isn't too bad. I haven't yet invested in a toner for it. I don't really get toner. Like I said before, no expert here. Um, but I've, no, I've managed without using toner for most of my life. So uh, 
after 44 years I reckon I probably can get away with carrying on not using toner somebody can comment below and tell me why it's so important um, but yeah so I would recommend this Lizelle and the cleanse and polish as well which I've mentioned before but certainly this moisturizer the final beauty bit I have is this lippy uh, which is L'Oreal and it is number 231 sepia silk I have no idea what the colour is, that's just what it's called. Two, three, one. Um, and it is this sort of nudie brown colour. I'm wearing it now, you probably can't tell, and that's why I like it. <laughs> I'm not a big one for wearing lip lipstick. I like to wear it, but I don't like it to be bright, and I don't know why, I just don't think it looks good on me. I'm fairly understated when it comes to makeup, and anything too like red or pink, just... It's just not me, I just don't feel myself when I wear it. So I have always gone for nudes and I just love this one. And I wanted something that wasn't matte, wasn't too matte anyway, because I find, as I mentioned several times already, I have dry skin, I have dry lips as well. And I find that a matte one just goes, it makes my lips look flaky sometimes and just not attractive. So I prefer, this is like a silk, so it's not like really glossy, but it isn't matte either and I prefer that. So it's yeah, number 231, and it's L'Oreal, and I love it, absolutely love it. I wear it a lot of the time. That is it for beauty. Um, just a couple of, well, a couple of fashion-y bits, really. Um, I went to do some sales shopping just last weekend, and um, bought a few bits, and I tried to be, in fact, this, this dress I'm gonna show you isn't, wasn't even in the sale, um, but I tr was trying to be a little more quality over quantity with I had a specific amount I'd taken to spend I didn't want to spend any more than that I was happy to spend less and I did spend a little bit less um, but I didn't want to just go into Primark and spend all the money on tops and skirts or stuff that maybe would last me a season and um, I would end up passing them on or throwing them away um, I'm happy to buy in Primark more than happy, but the quality obviously isn't always the best. And I did actually buy a jacket in there. Um, but anyway, I just decided I wanted to spend a little bit more money and buy less. So, and this is only new look. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about spending a fortune in flash shops. This is just new look, but it wasn't in the sale. And um, anyway, enough about that. I loved it and I bought it. It is this smock dress. Um, and if you can see, I got it in a 12 and it's really big actually. I probably could have sized down, but I like it slightly longer. Um, so, and also it's just really roomy and floaty and I love a smock dress at the moment. And it's just got these short sleeves with a slight turn up and buttons down the front. And yeah, I just absolutely love it. So um, I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of that probably for the rest of this summer, what's left of it and definitely next. And maybe the one after that too. So that was that. And then finally, just reach over, is this. I featured this actually in a mini haul I did within a Sunday vlog I posted a few weeks ago. And this I got in the sale in Matalan and it's this straw bag. I wanted the straw bag for ages. Um, found this one, it just fitted the bill. It was perfect. It's got the right length of strap so I can wear it over my shoulder. It doesn't fall off. I was worried about, because sometimes when you wear a shoulder bag, I, the straps are constantly falling off. This one doesn't it fits really nice and you can hold on to the bag it's nice and deep it's got a popper at the top so you can keep your things safe I can fit a nice lot of stuff in there and yeah it's lovely it's got like a bit of gold thread through it if you can see and this was in the sale and it cost me seven quid and I have easily got seven pounds worth out of it I wear I've been using it all the time and that's it those are all my favourites for the summer and that I'm using at the moment and things that I've found really new over the last few months. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye. Nicola, I'm a mum of two and I make videos about all things lifestyle. So today I would... So I'm going to call this my summer favourites because we're well into August and by the time you watch them. I'll, I'll do a swatch on my arm actually so you can see. I've never been a big one for wearing lipstick. Um, 
really wasn't a good idea. I'll do a swatch on my arm so you can see. There we are. Uh, 